Hello there and welcome to Grow Smart with Grodan. One of the most common questions people have is how to condition Grodan. This video will tell you all you need to know about that. Now first, let me dispel two common myths. Some people say you need to soak Grodan for 24 hours. This is not correct. While soaking the product that long won't harm it, it's just overkill. And who has got that kind of time? The second myth is that Grodan will change pH continuously as the plant grows. This is also not true. The only time that the pH changes is immediately after the first soaking. Let me explain. All rock wool contains tiny bits of residual lime on the fibers that's left over from production. Soaking the block will dissolve the calcium carbonate and increase the pH level to about 6.2 inside the block. I've set a tray here to show you how to condition or soak your grow down before you start growing. Now I've got two smaller bins here to use as temporary reservoirs. It's just easier than filling one big tank. First, let's condition the grow down starters. Most use a pH down liquid to adjust the pH, but you can also use phosphoric acid, citric acid, or even the juice of a lemon. For measuring, you can use a pH meter, pH paper, or even pH test drops. Now just drop them into the bin with the pH adjusted water. In a matter of seconds, the plugs will just sink to the bottom. Simply pull them out and put them into your tray and they're ready to use. With these small plugs, there is no need to flush them because the amount of lime inside is minuscule. Next, I'll show you how to condition the 3 inch and 4 inch grow blocks. I find the easiest way is to just take them and drop them in like this. And then just let them sink to the bottom. Then when they're ready, just take them out, place them on the tray, just like this. For the bigger blocks, such as the Big Mom or the Hugo, it's a bugger to drag all the wet blocks out of the bin because they're very heavy when they're fully soaked. The smart way is to put a pump in the middle of your bin with a half inch hose attached. Carefully soak all your blocks using pH 5.5 this way. Hugo's hold about a gallon when soaked, and the Big Mama holds well over two gallons. You can also use a pitcher to soak them if you prefer. Soak the blocks for about 30 minutes to dissolve the lime. While you wait, you can mix up your nutrient solution hang up your lights, position your fans, or program your timer. All right, now the 30 minutes are up. It's time to flush out the lime from the blocks. This tank contains my nutrient solution. So either hose down the blocks or use a pitcher. Really rinse the blocks well, make sure you get all the corners. Now I've got an empty bin underneath to catch the drain water. Now you can use your drain water for your household plants or gardening. If you have a lot of plants, it might be too time consuming to flush them all by hand. So to save time, hook up your drip system and let it run for 24 hours. This will allow the nutrient solution to fully replace the lime water in the blocks. Just make sure the wastewater never goes into the reservoir of the water you will use to grow plants. 
Now for our gross slabs, we use a similar procedure. If you have only one or two slabs, you place them in a leech tray, just like this, and you'll cut a hole in the top. Use the pH adjusted water to fill the slab by hand or you can fill it with a hose. Make sure you fill up the slab. When you're done, let it sit for 30 minutes. Then cut six slits in the bottom of the slab three on each side. This will allow water to drain to waste. Now cut your planting holes on top. I've changed out the bin with nutrient solution, so flush out your slab using this. Again, make sure the wastewater is not left in your reservoir. Now your slab is ready to be used. Of course, if you have a lot of slabs, you can let your drip system run to waste for 24 hours to flush out any lime before planting. So to recap, soak in 5.5 pH water, flush with nutrient solution, and plant. Thank you for watching and I hope you have found this video to be beneficial to you. For additional information on this and other similar topics, please visit rodan101.com. The video that you have just watched is one of nine topics in the Grow Smart series. To access the others, visit our website now.